frankly creative as a teenager. And I was also very athletic. I played sports, I played, I played football, I played basketball, I played tennis, all those things. And I finally found gymnastics. 
which I thought was very creative, free exercise, you know, those kind of exercises that the guys do. And there was a wonderful lady at our school who was a dancer and did a wonderful kind of thing that she called modern dance. So I persuaded her to, to take me out to the studio where she was studying. So I went out and there found a wonderful man named Lester Horton, who was a genius of a choreographer and a teacher. And I became completely involved in modern dance as an expressive medium, as a way of expressing myself. I mean, in, in the modern dance, I found the, all those creative elements that I had been yearning for as a teenager. Uh, I found the athleticism. I found a wonderful kind of creativity and energy and spirit. And I was hooked. I started working with Lester Horton in 1949, and I worked with him until 1953. He died in 1953, and I became the director of the Lester Horton Company, and I made my first choreographies uh, for the Lester Horton Company, and then left in 1954, left California in 1954 to, to dance in a musical called House of Flowers, and with the idea of studying with all the Eastern modern uh, choreographers, with Martha Graham very, a little bit, with Hanya Holm, with, with Charles Weidman, uh, with Anna Sokolov, with Sophie Maslow, with any number of people. The idea being to find out what all of those people were doing to bring it back to California. Of course, I never made it back to California. So, and then the first concert was given in 1958 with a company called the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. And uh, here we are today. Revelations is a, is a, is a, is a title from the Bible. And it, it's, a, it's a suite of spirituals in, in three sections. The first section is called Pilgrim of Sorrow. These, uh, these first three songs are songs of the black persons wanting to get out of the situation, the, the South, some, symbolically, of what we, you know, of where we were. Fix Me Jesus is kind of a spiritual aspiration. The second section is called Take Me to the Water, which is based on a baptismal, uh, a personal experience. When I was uh, a kid in Texas, um, one was baptized outside the church by a lake, in a, in a lake, all dressed in white. So that's a very, a very intense memory. So that was theatricalized for Waiting in the Water, which is, which is in the ballet. And the last section is called Move Members Move, ladies on a Sunday morning uh, with fans and hats uh, in, a, in, a, in a country church. All of, all of this is a part of my blood memory. You know, my uncles, my family, my, my mother, all were in these churches. Uh, so it's a very intense, uh, very personal, and perhaps that's why Revelations last today. I, saw, I always think that the, the greatest works of art are the most personal, and Revelations certainly is a very personal work. May run on for a long time. You may run on for a long time. You may run on for a long time. Let me tell you about a body gonna put you down. Go tell me.
Paso. <risa>